Hi everyone, it's Neve here and welcome to my art journaling channel. Today we're going to be talking about how to handwrite your own quotes onto your pages of your art journal. So this is a page, I, a background I created um, for another page. If you have a look up the page previous you'll see how I did the background. Um, quite often I'll create a double spray, double page background and then when I'm you know, looking for a quick um, page to do another day, I'll come back in and use that. So I always find doing two for the price of one is, is a good idea. So I've just used some washi tape to create a border around my page. I'm going in with this large stencil, which is a Donna Downey stencil. Um, it has the face on it and some writing in the background. Um, just to create a bit of a focus and a border in the background. A, a focal image, sorry, not a border. Um, and I'm just using some pain grey to do that. So once I've finished the stenciling out the top bit, I wanted to work out how I was going to create the bottom of my journal page. So I wanted to extend the stenciling down. So I'm using part of the stencil that I've used previously. And I wanted to put some words onto her body. So I've got another stencil, which is this one from uh, blah, blah, Stencil Girl that I wanted to use as well. So I'm just going back in and just piecing it together so I've con covered my page with um, stenciling. I was going to say stamping. That's why I had to pause. I couldn't work out what I was going to say. <laughs> Because it's, um, I'm working on an acrylic paint, or acrylic paint, sorry, and I've just um, stenciled over with acrylic paint because I wanted to give a little bit of room around the lady's neck. I was able to use a wet wipe and just wipe away what I didn't need. So it's a bonus I find of working acrylic on acrylic, and it's one of the reasons why I do my handwriting the way I do it as well. So once I've finished, I have gone around with my um, black pen just to give a bit of a border wasn't quite thick enough for me so I'm changing pens and doing it again um, and that gives me the border of my background which I really like so it gives you a sort of a bit of a focal edge to what I've done. I'm also going in and just putting in the whites of her eyes just to pop her out from the background a little bit putting the catchalls in her eyes as well um, so it sort of really pops out from the background. I got a feeling it's because I've got blue eyes but quite often most of the figures you'll see I have um, will have blue eyes or blue irises as well. Just to pop the words out again I'm going in with my pen and just doing a little drop shadow on the letters so you can sort of read it. So I think this one says enough, brave, creative. It's just got a whole heap of words, thankful I think, um, all mixed up together which I quite like. So while it looks very subtle here and you can't really see it, in the close-up at the end you'll be sort of able to see those little bit of flecks of white. By doing that it gave me a bit of a chance to think about what I wanted to put on the page and I knew on the um, right hand side I had some space that I could put a quote of some sort to tie this all together. And um, as I was sort of thinking on it, oops, just using up the rest of my paint though first, <laughs> as you do. So I'll have some paint on that page to use another day. I hate having wasted paint on my page and um, if I don't get rid of it I'll put my hand in it so it's often better for me to get rid of it there and then. So I'm on my phone at the moment looking up in Pinterest like I usually do for a quote to put on the page and this is a first step. So I use my paint pens. I'm using a thinner paint pen. This is a 3P um, PC PM 3P I think or something like that. Posca paint pen. So I've written on you are powerful, beautiful, brilliant and brave. Please apologize for the um, going in and out of focus. And I just write it on um, with a thin pen first so I can get my spacing. Now because I'm doing acrylic paint over an acrylic background it means if I make a mistake I can get my wet wipe out and wipe it away again. Um, if I had used a pencil, um, I'm very heavy handed when it comes to pencil so it would have dented the page, 
getting the eraser out it's just a whole heap of hassle I have used my stibular oil pencil in the past because it's water soluble so if I made a mistake again I could wipe it away with my wet wipe so if you don't want to commit to using paint pen to do it um, use something like the stibular oil pencil um, I do tend to work quite quickly so um, things don't dry on me very much if you're obviously working in a very hot environment where things dry quickly you may prefer to do it when you've got a little bit more root space to um, wipe it away if you know make a mistake and so on so the second thing I've done once I wrote rich, blah, 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 really bad grammar Eve. once I'd written it out with thin pen I've gone back and expanded my letters to fill in the spaces so in quite a lot of them you can see I sort of put a triangle triangular shape on them and um, extended them up and down to fill in the space as needed then there's not really any consistency with the size there it's just what space I have you can see that E is really tiny that A I've extended up so it's quite big um, I was kind of running out when I got to the beautiful with the L so it's quite skinny um, it just works out how it works out now I'm going in and doing a drop shadow around it so I find the drop shadow really helps to push it out from the background um, usually I use white and black but in this case because I'm writing the turquoise I thought I'd use the pink pick up a bit of the background when I do the drop shadow I always do it on the bottom left hand side of all my letters there's no rhyme or reason to that it's just that's what I do to be consistent you just need to make sure whatever side you do it on you do it consistently so I'm doing it on the bottom left of each of my letters if you want to do it on the top right hand side of each of your letters do that so um, um, it's, it's just comes down to consistency when I got down to the bottom I had that space there I decided I wanted to fill it up so again I've written it out um, with my thin pencil first now I'm going back in and fattening or extending my letters into the space I've got so I've got don't forget it I think because um, it was just something I need to tell myself um, again so you can sort of see me going up and down creating those little triangular shapes I'm putting in my exclamation mark and then drying it off so again it is wet paint um, if you can see my hands sort of over it so if you don't want to smudge it make sure it is dry beforehand like all acrylic paint once it's dried it's permanent so just make sure you haven't made any mistakes before you dry it off um, and go in again and do your um, drop shadow couldn't remember the name of it so here's the close-up um, it is really really simple to do as I said if you don't want to write straight away with a paint pen use a pencil or use a water soluble pencil to help you space it out but in the long run you know it looks a bit quirky and so on if you if you do make them not all quite the same shape and size and it fits into where you want to do it I hope that helps you because I know I get lots of questions asked about how I do my handwriting um, I know that was really quick but hopefully it gives you a bit of an idea and basically practice makes progress so just keep practicing thanks so much for watching until next time bye for now